Hop hop everyone! Welcome to my channel! <laughs> Today I have a special tutorial for you. Uh, we're making Easter egg hunt boxes. So this is how the box looks like. When you open it, ta-da! Surprise inside! They're super easy to make and I have a few extra bonuses for you just to make this uh, Easter egg hunt uh, special even if you're staying indoors. So let's get started. First let me show you how the boxes look like. So they're tied with ribbon, the ribbon keeps the boxes closed. And when you open it, it looks something like this. In the description below you will find a link to my template. I created this specially for this project. It's a free template. It has three pages. On the first page you will find the template for the box, for the front and the back of the box. On the second page you will find uh, the clues for your egg hunt. And on the third page you have the bunny pose. After downloading the template you need to print it on uh, some uh, cardstock. Then you will need some patterned paper. A few strips of paper. They are 12 inches long by 1 inch wide. We will trim the strips to look something like this. I will show you exactly how. So let's do some cutting. Cut out the egg-shaped templates. After cutting them out, take your pattern paper Turn it under reverse. If you have a pattern like mine with the stripes, decide first which way your pattern you want to go. Then arrange the templates onto the reverse of the pattern paper. Next you will need to glue the templates onto the reverse of the pattern paper. I'm using my tape runner for this um, process. Now that the templates are fixed onto the reverse of the pattern paper, you need to take your scissors and cut them out. Layering the paper onto the plain cardstock makes it more sturdy. So this is how the front and the back of the box looks like so far. Uh, 
Now we will need to create the side of the box. For this step we are going to use the paper strips which are 12 inches long by 1 inch wide. And uh, measure on the short side 5 eighths of an inch. Taking that mark as a guide, use your ruler and the sharp tool and make a score line. If you have a scoreboard, you can use that for this step as well. Next, take your ruler and mark on the top side at every half an inch. Then take your scissors and cut notches at every half an inch where you made the marks. Don't forget to trim the first and the last uh, flap as well. Then use your fingers to fold all the small flaps. This is where the score line comes in very useful. For the next step, um, you will need some PVA glue. I'm using this sort of book binding glue, which is very good. I'm taking one of my egg templates and under reverse, I'm going to trace a line all around it. As I'm going to use this as a guide for gluing the side of the box. Then you need to add a bit of glue on each flap. I would recommend leaving the last two or three flaps without glue as you will need to trim it after gluing onto the egg shape. Now you just take your uh, strip of paper and glue it under reverse of uh, the egg template. If you trace the line like I did, you can use that as a guide. Press the flaps as you go around. When you reach the end, you can trim the excess paper and glue the sides together. This will be the lid. Now we need to make uh, the other side of the box. This time we are uh, starting with a strip of paper. So take that strip and place it inside the lid. This will help you know exactly how long it should be, so you can trim it now and glue the ends together.
After gluing the ends, place the strip inside the lid. Then use your fingers to flatten the flaps. Then add a bit of glue on each flap as you did for the other strip of paper. Take the other egg template, press it on top of it and try to align it with the first template. Once you think the two sides are aligned, try pressing firmly with your fingers. Now take it out slowly, then uh, press the small flaps with your fingers so you'll make sure it's glued into place. And that's it, the box is done. Before adding the ribbon, I'm going to add a little something on the inside just to make it look pretty. So I'm uh, taking a sheet of tissue paper, I'm folding it on the long side and then take my scissors and just cut strips from it. So you can put this inside the box before adding the chocolate or the small gift or whatever you're putting inside. Then close the box and tie a bow around it. These are the boxes I made so far. They're quite easy to make and it doesn't take you too much time. And if you print my template, it's even faster. Now let me show you what else you can do for the egg hunt. If you print the second page of my template, you can create clues for the egg hunt and place them around the house or in the garden. You can either leave them white and color the letters or you can uh, color the characters and leave the letters white like in this quick example I made earlier I'll quickly show you how I made uh, these clues so I printed them onto white cardstock I cut them out used my uh, tape runner to add some glue on the reverse added the craft stick added a bit of glue onto the stick then glued it onto craft cardstock. After that, I just used my scissors and trimmed the craft cardstock. So these are the clues, you can make as many as you need for your egg hunt, color them or just leave them white, however you want. And uh, one last thing, if you print the third page of uh, my template, which are the bunny paws, you can either print them onto white cardstock and color them, cut them out and put them around the house or you can cut out the circles from the inside creating a stencil which you can use to make uh, flower footprints that's it everyone this was my quick easter tutorial i hope you enjoyed watching it if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when i post new videos 
and I really hope you're gonna give this a go you can try making these with your children as well thank you for watching everyone happy crafting <laughs>